have the most important news of the day the one that i've been waiting to talk about something that's kind of really been on the tip of my tongue and i'm really really happy about this because god almighty what a lineup Primavera Sound have announced their lineup for the 2022 festival, which has been postponed two years in a row now, from what I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right? Obviously, due to COVID and stuff, there was this understanding or hope that it would go through this year with the trial run that they did, um, where they had basically people coming through at the Primavera site, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was Sona, but regardless, someone that does Persona and Primavera did this festival, a trial run where they had people go to the festival sans mask and it was pretty successful no positive tests and all that malarkey and people are hoping hey they're going to put the festival on this year but i'm assuming logistically it just didn't make any sense rushing it so they postponed it again for the second time to 2022 so there's a bit of a wait in terms of you know uh going there yourself but god almighty what a lineup so this is news from primavera sound it says um alegria primavera sound presents the best lineup in its history for an extended edition of its 2022 in barcelona and sant arabia sant adri Adri, how do you say that sant adria de besos Sant Adria de Besos, right? Or de Besos. I think it's uh, anyway. Come in. Zoom in. The lineup of Primavera Sound 2022 Barcelona, Santa Andrea is not only the best in our history, it is uh, also the biggest. Um, it is the most eclectic, the most impressive, and the most stellar, the most Primavera, the one that needs the most time to unleash in all its uniqueness as revealed today through a majestic ad by cupra on june 2nd 2022 an edition will start that will absolutely be historic because it's something that we've never seen before an 11 day urban festival with an exceptional lineup in which the whole city will be involved with six days in the park de la forum um, plus a party on the beach at Sant Ari, Adria de Besos, the four days in the venues of Barcelona, um, an extraordinary addition that is explained by the combination of the two years without a festival that we've had to face and the, and the desire to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Primavera Sound as it deserves to be celebrated. It's made up of over 413 artists who will offer over 500 performances throughout the festival. Most of them perform only once, but some will perform twice and even more, shared over two weekends in Primavera La Cueta. La Cueta, La, Ciu- La Ciu- Ciueta, or wherever you say that. Um, we'll, we, will most, we, we must clarify the lineup is not yet complete and more artists will be added soon. Once again, a lineup for the Primavera San Barcelona will be gender equal in line with the festival's public commitment to and will, of course, reflect the entire color palette of the contemporary music uniting the legends of music with the sensations of the moment and extreme metal with reggaeton, references of discipline, blah, blah. blah. So, the lineup itself, it is stacked, 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 absolutely stacked, right? Incredible. So, the flyer itself is a bit confusing, it's a bit hard to read and stuff, graphic design-wise, you know, it's a little bit of a trip, but when you zoom in, oh God, when you zoom in, so obviously they've got all the dates listed on here, they've got the first weekend, June 2nd to 4th, the second weekend, 9th of June to the 11th of June, and of course some extra dates there for the 12th with some DJs. But let's go from the top to bottom, right? It is amazing. Maybe one of the better, best best lineups I've seen for Primavera. And again, I've mentioned it prior, but Primavera is probably easily one of my favorite festivals out there it may be the most well-rounded um obviously going to barcelona one of the best cities in europe during june during the summer you know super nice weather great food great bars great culture there's a beach there you really can't make it up in it it's a really perfect venue so um headliners for june 2nd we've got massive attack pavement tame impala um then you know we also got support in 100 gex bad girl black lips black midi um, Tangana, Charlie XCX, Opening Up, Cigarettes After Sex, Dinosaur Jr., DJ Shadow, Girl in Red, Honey Dijon, Casey Musgraves, Kelani, Kim Gordon, Mabel, Big Up Mabel, Maria Del Mar Bonnet, Sarah Van Eaton, Yo La Tengo, and then continuing on, we've got Alfred Deutsch, Big Frida, Cool Super Back to Back with Shanti Celeste, Carista, Carla, DJ Frey, Faye Webster, Hannah Diamond, John Selly, Jesus Christ, Shy Girl, Soto, D 
the Armad VT VTSS live. Okay, she's playing live. Interested to see her. Interested to see what she's gonna do there. Um, then we got, of course, third. We got Beck and the National and the Strokes. Just imagine as headliners what that's gonna be like. Hearing Beck, the National, and the Strokes playing in Primavera. It's gonna be a vibe, mate. Oh my god. And Mia, um, you got Bikini Kill, Brockhampton, Caribou, El Sweatshirt, Fontaine, Jimmy XCX. Again on the lineup, he stays getting booked in it. He stays riding the wave of the XX who have been relevant only, what, a, maybe less than a decade ago, right? He's still getting booked off the back of that. Big up Jamie XX, man. Like, absolute legend. Jeff Mills, uh, Kano, King Gizzard, Lizard Wizard, Lil Sims, Manel, Paolo Vitra, Paloma Mami, Parquet Courts, Parquet Courts, weighs blood. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Aurora Halal playing there, some DJs. You got Blawan, Carino, CSZZ, DJ Stingray. Wow, bruv. Georgia, Jessica Pratt, Jasmine, Mama Mia, Violet. And then, of course, on the 4th of June, right? That's a stacked first weekend already. The last weekend, uh, the last day of that weekend, Gorillas, Georgia Smith, who I can do without seeing live, but Gorillas and Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds is going to be incredible. Bauhaus, right? Beach House, who haven't dropped an album in ages, but still is going to be sick. Um, Caroline Palocek, who's got a great album, what, two years ago that came out? Really good. Div, Disclosure, obviously always great. DJ Harvey. Right, my favorite DJ of all time, one of the best DJs in the world, somebody I've seen play maybe what more than six times. Incredible DJ, um, Dookie, Dreamcatcher, Idols. Oh, come on, man, I gotta go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Jewel Box, King Cruel, Maria Jose, El Laguero. I've not heard of that person. Maybe Staples, Slow Tie playing. That's gonna be sick. Tyler the Creator headlining also. That's going to be live. Um, DJing wise, you've got ABBA, Automatic, UFO, Biscuit. These are all electronic artists, I'm assuming, right? Um, Fatima Yamaha, uh, Jane Fitz. Boo! Boo! <laughs> uh, Jenny Harvo, John Geist, Kama Maslu, Lawrence Lado. Oh, wow! What uh um Rhapsody Caretaker Tim Burgess Tim Burgess that's some um, thingy majiggy right isn't that the same guy from uh what's that New York radio station called again is that him or am I mistaking it Stingray again playing Terence Dixon and then on the on the fifth and eighth Jesus Christ is so stacked again oh no this is a whole thing another one repeat. Beck, Disclosure, Interpol, JMSS, Georgia, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, 100 Gex, AJ, AG Cook, which is going to be cool. I'm assuming she, he's going to play a, a proper sick Sophie tribute set. Man, imagine Sophie, man. Oh, R.I.P., man. So, such a shame. Gone way too soon. Imagine Sophie playing at this in this lineup. Charlie XCX, Chet, uh, Chet Faker, Giles Peterson, Jenny Bev, John Talabot. Oh, come on, brother. It's insane. African Sciences, Alex Cameron, Automatic. Wow. This is a vibe. Wow. Then the following weekend, or the sorry, the, yeah, the following weekend, the second weekend, you got Dua Lipa, Gorillas, Interpol, Tyler Crater headlining on the 9th, 10th, you got Lord, Massive Attack and Strokes. Lord hasn't dropped an album in ages. She's been MIA. Last time I saw a picture of her, she was out fishing somewhere. So that's going to be sick. Black Coffee's there too, Britney Howard, Burner Boy, Clyro, uh, Giveon, oh, come on, MIA, Nicola Cruz, Pasilu, Run the Jewels, oh my god, oh man, I just saw that, Playboy Carty's playing as well, oh my days, Playboy Carty's Slow Dive, Mole Grab, Metronomy, Perfume, oh, 11th of June, you got Judah Smith, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, oh my god, I have to buy tickets, man, I have to, I have to, innit? The good thing about Primavera too, even if the tickets get sold out, which they eventually will end up getting sold, I'm not sure if they're all going to sell out straight away because obviously it's a year um, in advance. You have to basically pay for them. But the main thing you should sort out if you are going to go to Primavera Sound 2022 is to get your accommodation sorted and maybe even flights. Flights maybe not so much considering you're still going to pay about the same even if you book them now, I'd assume. So it's going to be that much. Even if you book them, you know, the same time 
No, not May. No, if you book them maybe before February of next year, you're still going to get them in a fairly good price. But the one thing to really nail down is accommodation. It's super hard to come by. Because I think Barcelona, if I'm not mistaken, had the same thing when it comes to Airbnb that Berlin did, where Berlin basically um, prevented people from renting out places on Airbnb if they didn't own the homes, right? Because there was a real surge of that happening, which was driving, which was artificially driving up the cost of housing, I'm assuming, in Berlin. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not really sure how the details were. But if I'm pretty sure that might, that happened as well in Barcelona, so the housing is quite limited. And also because of the location, some people are like, it depends what you're into. Either you get a location, either you get a house or an apartment next to the, next to the actual venue, which is a bit further out, or you go and get your apartment in the old town, was it? In the city centre, what was it? The Gothic or whatever it's called, or whatever it's called right? Um, where everything basically is, all the restaurants, all the cool bars and stuff. It depends what you want. So if you just go in there specifically for the festival, maybe get exactly next to the next to the venue so you can walk home pretty easily. But I remember when we went, we had to kind of, you know, get on the bus or walk down or get a cab and it takes ages to get back home, especially if you live in the main city. You send a bit. But God almighty, man, I so want to go. I badly, badly want to go. That might be one of the best festival lineups I've seen post-pandemic, man. It's absolutely epic. They are celebrating a big way. And I think a lot of places are going to do really big lineups in the or next year because i'd imagine a lot of places that postponed them there's probably some stipulation in the contracts where if you postpone this festival you still have to book those people that you originally had on the lineup um on the next one if they're available of course right and because then if you don't then you obviously are liable to give them money but if they cancel you don't have to give them anything so it's that kind of vibe so a lot of those lineups are going to be artificially inflated because there's a lot of people that they had to kind of carry over from 2021 so it wouldn't surprise me if like for, for instance primavera it wouldn't surprise me if the first weekend was maybe the original lineup of primavera sound and then the second weekend was what they basically added and said, hey, this is my new list of people, kind of to make it work that way. Um, and then, of course, you've got the middle dates, and then you've got all the DJs at the bottom. I haven't even mentioned, you know, a couple of business techno people that we could probably all miss out and stuff. But um, you've got who do I like here? You've got, obviously, Hector, o Hector Oaks, Nicola Cruz, uh, Anika Kunst, and Malika. But the rest of them, you can kind of count out, you know, who cares about seeing Peggy who plays somewhere like, come on. But yeah. It's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. Cannot wait. Primavera Sound. Tickets, I think, go on sale Friday, tomorrow. So if you're in tune, of course, go out and get them. If not, you're definitely going to miss out. You're definitely going to miss out.